Hello everyone, this is Spaceless and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am going to be telling you about the SPX DM1 mission. SpaceX Demonstration Mission 1 or SPX DM1 is the uncrewed first flight of the crew version of Dragon 2. It was launched today on March 2nd, 2019 at 7.49 UTC from the historic Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And for those of you who do not know about LC-39A or Pad A, it was a launch pad which supported the Apollo missions and the space shuttle launches. It is the first orbital flight of the Crew Dragon capsule and it was launched atop a Falcon 9 Block 5 booster B1051.1. This Falcon 9 did not have a payload fairing because of the Dragon capsule and the first stage was separated and landed on the autonomous spaceport drone ship Of Course I Still Love You stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. This was the 69th flight of a Falcon 9 rocket, 35th landing of a first stage booster, third mission for SpaceX in 2019 and the first flight of a Dragon 2 capsule. The Dragon 2 is going to be docking with the International Space Station in low Earth orbit. This Dragon 2 is configured for crew but is uncrewed for this demonstration mission. However, there is an anthropomorphic test device wearing a SpaceX spacesuit on board named Ripley as well as some supplies and equipment for the International Space Station. After performing a series of maneuvers throughout the day, Dragon 2 is expected to arrive at the International Space Station tomorrow on March 3rd. Astronauts Anne McLean and David St. Jacks will be monitoring the cupola as Dragon 2 approaches the station. Autonomous talking to the International Space Station docking adapter is expected to occur at around 11 UTC and the hatch opening will occur around 2 hours and 30 minutes later. Dragon 2 will remain at the station until March 8th. Undocking is planned at 7.30 UTC. It will maneuver away from the station and perform its deorbit burn approximately 5 hours later. Splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean is expected to occur at 13.45 UTC. Go Searcher and SpaceX's other members of East Coast Fleet will recover Dragon 2 from the ocean and bring it back to Port Canaveral. This Dragon 2 will be refurbished and used again later this year during SpaceX's in-flight abort test. <laughs> 